Beavis, 94.7 QDR, and normally we would be doing first day here at the radio station, but because, of course, COVID, we are doing it virtually, and I have with me, through Zoom, I have Molly from the Animal Protection Society of Durham, and Darlene's in the background, and you have the most adorable kittens in your hand, oh my gosh! Yes, hi y'all, um, they are, we do have some very cute kittens here with us today, they're they're getting a little unruly and pass that one off actually. <laughs> but um, yeah, you know we're in the we're in the thick of of kitten season right now. So um, we have lots of kittens and oh um, gosh. you know available for adoption in our adoption program and um, in our foster program. Um, just tons of kittens coming in all the time and um we wanted to show you guys some of the cuteness oh my it's, gosh and i hear them in the background so, <laughs> these these kittens that are hanging out with us today they are not um available for adoption yet but we have tons of kittens available in our adoption program right now um and you mentioned the foster program as well what do you guys need when it comes to fosters because there's so many i mean that many kittens oh my gosh yeah, so I was just talking to our foster manager earlier today, and she said that we have um, about 175 kittens in foster homes currently. Wow! Um, so that's just just right now at this at this moment. So that just gives you a great idea of um, you know how many kittens we have throughout kitten season, how many foster homes we need, and now a lot of our amazing foster parents will. Um, you know, they'll foster a whole litter of kittens. So that's not 175 foster homes, but um, yeah, like 175 kittens in, in foster care right now. So yeah. in terms of our foster program, things that we need, um, foster, you know, we're, we're looking for more kitten fosters yeah. if possible. Um, and we also need lots of supplies for all of those foster homes. Um, you know, they everything from the little uh, nipples for the for the bot for the um, bottle feeder kittens, the really young ones, the bottle to, babies, um, food and um, toys, and you know, we have a whole wish list, Heather, on our on our website specifically for kitten season and for kitten foster homes, um, and we also, yeah, like I said. We got 175 in foster homes right now, but they're still coming in every day. So we do need more kitten foster parents. If you want to, um, I mean, look at that face. Why would you say no? <laughs> babies. It can be, you know, some work, especially with the with the really young ones. But um, everyone who does it says it's like the most rewarding volunteer experience they've ever done. Um, and folks can learn more about that and apply to be a kitten foster on our website as well. I will put the links below this video so people can check that out. And of course, awesome. I mean, you know, if you're going to foster one, two or three, you know, if you have two or three and they have playmates and they, and there is nothing cuter than kittens playing together. Really. Absolutely. Honestly, really. <laughs> But it's like there's a phrase, right? Cuter than kittens. Yes. How have you guys been doing through COVID? Um, we've been doing good. We, um, you know, we're still here every day. The animals are still here, so we're still here taking care of them all the time. Um, we are open by appointment only here at the shelter currently still. Uh -huh. um, but for, for any services that you need to access the shelter, it's by appointment only at this time. But um, we have had just an amazing response for foster parents and for adoptions as well. I mean, um, you know, our adoption program is doing amazing, which is so great. Um, and I heard you guys are also we are still getting at the end of the um, so, like I said, you know, we need dog and adult cat fosters as well as kitten fosters at this time. Um, a lot of our animals have been in foster care since COVID um, started. I think that I heard the other day that we that since the pandemic started, we sent over 400 animals into into foster homes. Um, so 
so yeah, foster program is booming. You know, we're we're evolving um, with the, with the changes in the world and doing our best for these for these animals in these um, strange times. We have also been doing. We've had really great success with doing. Uh, digital, all digital paperwork for our adoption program and virtual visits uh, rather than face-to-face -face since folks, um, you know, aren't coming into the shelter anymore. Yep. And so many of our animals are in foster homes. Um, our foster parents or our adoption counselors are setting up these virtual visits and it will just be a Zoom call like this or um, a FaceTime call where they get to introduce the animal and um, Everyone has, you know, it's been all positive so far. We've uh, had great success with that. That is so awesome. And of course, with lots more people at home, you have time for kittens and puppies and dogs and cats. And it's, it's even better because you're at home. So you have a better time acclimating them to you and your family. And you guys have more time to spend with them before hopefully things get back to normal and that kind of thing. So absolutely. Cool. Exactly. And, I heard you guys are also helping out in the, uh, the community with your pet pantry as we well. We are, yeah. Thanks for bringing that up. We, um, we, you know, we just felt that we want to, we want to help the community however we can at this time. You know, everyone, lots of people are experiencing some real financial hardship. And in terms of our pet owners here in Durham, um, we want to do what we can as an organization to help. So what we've done is we've set up a community pet pantry where um, if, if somebody is you know, going through a hard time because of coronavirus, they're in, to the point that they can't feed their pet, um, we are, they're able to go to our website, fill out a, a really quick, easy form, and um, we're gonna give them the food that they need from that, from that pet pantry to, to feed their animal and then keep their animal in their home. That's amazing, that is um, so great. And so that's another, that's another donation opportunity as well uh, that we're, you know, we, we received an amazing outpouring for the community for that pet pantry as well, but um, there's definitely still a need out there. So uh, if folks want to contribute to that, we are taking basically any kind of pet food that, you, you know, we know that these are strange times, people are shopping in different ways and, um, we're we're taking whatever kind of pet food basically people are able to to donate to us for that for that pantry that's fantastic um what is the place where people can drop stuff like that off if they had our address is 2117 east club boulevard durham uh 27704 and people are either just mailing stuff straight to us like they'll just you know we we go online and say we're running low on stuff in our pet pantry and people will just hop on Amazon or wherever your preferred retailer um, and ship stuff straight straight here to the shelter or you can also just drop stuff off outside our front door um, anytime anytime really during business hours is best but um, folks are dropping stuff off out there all the time and we check regularly and bring everything inside of course that's so great that's awesome. I will put all the information about that below. And oh my gosh, I wish you were here with that kitten. Oh, <laughs> he's, finally, he's finally kind of calmed down. And yeah, he's, he's just kind of hanging out, man. Through. <laughs> well, thank you so much for taking the time. Like I said, I'll put that list of stuff that you guys need underneath this post and as well as the link to the Animal Protection Society of Durham. And Molly, thank you so much for spending time with us. Heather, thank you so much for, for having us, and um, yeah, yeah, you have a wonderful afternoon. You too. Bye.